What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also smash that like while you're at it. If you want to become a channel member, you can also click join just to the left of subscribe. Check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com, and you can also find us on all of our social media platforms at just Stella Crew Gaming. With well, all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. Alright guys, in today's video we do have the workaround for the apartment trade-in glitch. Alright, so this is probably the fourth workaround we've had in the last couple of weeks. It is not a lot different, um, but once we do have that all set up, it is actually going to be a lot quicker to do it back-to-back. -back. So super easy and quick once we do get the first little bit set up done. Now with this one, as before, you will lose any outfits you do have on your secondary character. Alright, so big disclaimer there, you will lose outfits on your secondary character. Now how this one is different is we do want to make sure that we have the high-end apartments in our slots 4, 5, and 6 on both characters. Okay, so that's how this one is different. Before we had to have the low-end apartments on our secondary character. This time, both the primary and secondary here in slot four, five, and six, you wanna have the most expensive apartments that you can buy. So if you have the Eclipse Towers penthouses, I've got a couple of the houses up here on the hills plus the Eclipse. I basically just maxed out my money, but also do make sure you do have enough to buy at least the cheapest property to trade them in. So make sure you have at least $30,000 in your pocket before you do this. So once you have four, five, and six with both, uh, having both characters having four, five, and six with the high end apartments. We simply want to start off on our primary character, our first character, if that's how we're doing this. You can do it either way, um, but uh, obviously, primary character is what most of you are going to be doing. So, once we load into an online session with our primary character, we just simply want to go back to story. So, you can just change your outfit and force a save, and we're going to go back to story. Now, once we're in story, we want to go into uh, options, we want to go to online, and we're going to hover over invite only session. Now, we don't want to actually select it yet. We want to go into our PlayStation menu, we want to go into our capture gallery, and we want to go here to trim a clip. So we're just going to hover over trim clip, then we're going to double tap our PlayStation button. We then want to go ahead and accept the invite only uh, alert. And as soon as we accept the alert, we're going to see an orange loading circle in the bottom right hand corner. You want to double tap, trim the clip and just spam X through the alert so that it suspends our application. From there, we can just tap our PlayStation button once, go back into GTA. We're going to have this alert. You want to accept the first one, wait on the second one for a few seconds and then accept that alert as well. And it will eventually take us into that invite only session that we started. All right, so I went that through that pretty quick. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over invite only session. You wanna get a trim clip ready. And then when we do go into the invite only session, we're gonna accept the alert. Then we're gonna double tap, trim that clip, spam through the alerts so that we actually have the application suspended. You can also use Netflix and YouTube and those kind of things if you wish, uh, but trimming the clip tends to work the easiest and quickest. So that's what I'm using for the video. Now, um, as I said, we're going to spam through those alerts to um, get a suspended application. Then we're going to go back to GTA and we just want to accept those two alerts that we have from there. Now, once we do finally load into an invite only session, you'll notice you will now be on your secondary character. So I'm on my female character, which is my secondary character. Now, all we need to do from here is go into our Dynasty 8. We want to sort the apartments from low to high. And you want to now purchase the three cheapest apartments. The nice thing right now is they're actually on sale. So now we're going to buy over the ones that are in slot four, five, and six. So again, you want to make sure you had the high-end apartments this time when you started it. We're going to simply buy over them, and you're going to get about 450 to 550 thousand per trade-in that we do. So you're roughly going to get about 1.4, 1.45 million if you are using the most expensive apartments. Okay, so if you're using the Eclipse Towers penthouse. So once we've gone ahead and bought over all four, five, and six, 
you can go ahead and try to force a save but it's most likely not going to happen so I did go here and try to change my outfit a few times um, but you will not actually get an orange loading circle this time uh, but don't worry about it it will stick from this point so once you do um, buy all of the apartments you don't really have to wait or change your outfit or do nothing at that point all we need to do now is pull up our character wheel and we want to select Franklin and we're going to go back to story mode. All right, so we bought the cheap apartments, we got the money for them, we're now going to go back to story mode. So you can do it through the options menu if you want, go to exit GTA online uh, or just to hold down the D-pad to pull up your character wheel and select one of your story mode characters. So I am just selecting Franklin. So once we do load down from here, once we do load down to Franklin, all right, should be loading in any second. And this is all real time as well, guys. So I haven't sped nothing up yet, all right? So from here, we wanna go into our friends list and we wanna go into a community or whichever. And we wanna find somebody that is playing GTA Online and we simply want to join them. So every video i've seen before this that has been posted already um, from what i've seen is this person that you're joining does have to be in an invite only session i lucked out on the person i joined here they happen to be in an invite only session so you get that private session alert i don't know if that is absolutely necessary um, so maybe comment below if you really need to get that alert or not um, but i just joined a random person in the community and just by chance of luck they happened to be an invite only session so it gave me the private alert and then all you want to do is accept that and it will take you into a public session okay so i'm going to go ahead and speed up through that part and then we will be in a new session all right, so here we are. We are loaded back in as our female. So from here, all we want to do is go into options online and we want to go to swap character. Now we're going to get an alert coming up here. Now this part is very important. You want to hit X to continue. Then we're going to hit circle to cancel on the second alert. And then we're going to hit square to retry. Okay, so that part is very important. So it's going to be square. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. You're going to hit X, circle, and then square. All right, so X to continue, circle to cancel, and then square to retry. So that's how you're going to do it. All right, X, circle, square. X, circle, square. So once you've done that, it will eventually load us in, and we're going to be now our primary character. It's going to be our male character. Uh, and then at this point, we are pretty much done. We're good to rinse and repeat the glitch. All right, so we're going to be now back on our primary character. So at this point, I will show show you the rinse and repeat so that is all the setup that we need to do so everything is done now we've done one complete um, trade-in so we've already got that 1.4 million so far um, now that part is out of the way so from here the rinse and repeat is going to be a lot quicker um, so we should spawn in now as our male so it should be any second here good old GTA stuck up in the clouds come on come on come on and all right, so here we are finally spawned in as our male. So again, we are now ready to rinse and repeat this. So we are back on our primary character, our male. You just want to go ahead and change your outfit just to force a save. I like to do this every time we get back onto our male character just to make sure the money sticks. And then all we need to do from here is pick up our character wheel and go back to story. So once we go back to story, we're going to go ahead and do the whole trim clip part once again. We're going to show up as our female, trade them in, and then from there we simply need to go to swap character. So no more of the other stuff with joining our friend and everything else. It's going to be very simple from this point and a lot quicker. You can pretty much do this back to back in probably less than three minutes. As usual, the most time you'll spend is up in the clouds. Um, but then you can go ahead and make that 1.5 million every three minutes. Do it back to back and you'll get a crap ton of money pretty quick. So here we are. We're going to go options online. We're going to go into play GTA, hover over invite only. Go get our trim clip ready again. So we're going to go just hover over that. Double tap our PlayStation button. And we're going to go invite only. Accept the alert. As soon as we get the orange loading circle on the bottom right hand corner, we're going to double tap. And we're going to trim that clip and suspend our application. We then want to go back to GTA, accept the first alert, sit on the second one for a few seconds, and then accept that one. So it will now spawn us in as our female because our male is no longer available. 
and here we go we have spawned in we are now the female so we simply need to pull up our phone go into our web browser go over to dynasty 8 view property listings sort from low to high and now we are going to buy the three cheapest apartments once again over our slot four five and six so as you can see even though we've already done this they are still showing as the high-end apartments so it's perfect so we're getting that 450 to 550,000 for each one so we're just going to simply trade all three in you can go ahead and change your outfit again you are not going to get an orange loading circle at this point but do not worry that is fine once you bought the three properties i always just change the outfit again just for the heck of it um, but not necessary then from here we simply want to go into options online and we're going to swap character all right so this is where it becomes super easy again we're going to get into our character selection screen. We're going to notice that our male is going to have the error on the chalkboard. We just want to simply slide over to that character and we're going to hit X to select them. All right, once we do select them, it's going to simply load us into a session with that character. And we've done, we've done another flip. So we've done another trade. So we're going to go back to story. Once we go back to story, trim click, go into our female, trade them in, swap character, go back to mail and so on and so on so from here again just back to back so it is very easy very quick um, so again just the first setup will take you maybe maybe 10 minutes in total to get set up so once you make sure you've bought the high-end apartments on both characters in slot four five and six so you can buy the cheapest ones in slot one two and three if you do have limited money but buy the most expensive ones that you can in four five and six on both characters and then you could always trade those in for more expensive ones once you've done this a few times and you made a few dollars um, then this way you will obviously make all that money back anyway so it'll be an investment I mean if you pound this out for an hour you could probably get yourself a hundred million dollars in an hour um, pretty quick so not too bad all right so definitely take advantage of this while you guys can they have been patching these ones pretty quick lately so any of the department trading glitches they do um, tend to patch within a couple days so we got a lucky one this time it's a it's a quicker back-to-back -back than the previous methods that we've had um, so again take advantage of it while you can so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop a like. And make sure you go check out the website at StellarCrewGaming.com. Until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.